Bravo is the goal. Back to old half is the number 79 car. So fast on the bottom of the racetrack, you're able to drive off that corner better than anybody else. That's what won you the race here tonight. For sure, every corner I'm listening and I was always the first one on the gas and that's what I like to hear. <laughs> you really perfected your research, the leader sets the pace and you're able to get right back on that loud pedal faster than anybody else. It looked as though McFerrin was trying the move going down into one with two to go and you're able to sort of move up just a little bit, cut out that momentum and just a, a, a smart move, a veteran move and that's what got you the victory lane. Yeah, definitely. McFerrin is a tough competitor and last week both him and I ended up in the pits with a flat tire with no change and we were just talking to each other and we're just like, maybe we'll see you next week because we both know we have fast cars. Have you made any adjustments to this car? I know you're only running sporadically this season, but it seems as though tonight you're, you're head and shoulders better than you've been the last couple of weeks. Have you made many adjustments through the week? Man, the past couple seasons, just running part-time, we've never been able to get the car hooked up like it was when I won the championship. But for sure, like these last couple of weeks, we've been doing just tweaking little things, air pressures and spring rubbers. And man, we got it hooked up. <laughs> Does it seem as though the division is a lot tougher these days? I mean, we had a lot of big names out here tonight. It was not easy pickings at all. Oh, for sure. Today in practice, I was like, oh my gosh, look, Dad, this so-and-so is here and so-and-so is here. It was definitely, it's awesome, an awesome feeling to win right now. Go ahead and thank those sponsors. I would like to thank Central Appliance and of course Fox's Bakery, best buns and cookies ever. <laughs> Congrats, phenomenal run.